You need a seven or a double to stay alive. Seven, seven, he rolls it together, seven, he rolls seven. him, and it's a seven. everybody and welcome to high rollers skill strategy sabotage and these unpredictable dice boy can they be unpredictable huh players yeah. they're the elements we have for you as our players try to win prizes totaling seven thousand dollars that are on our game board with much more to follow after that then of course whoever wins a best two out of three game match goes on to play those big numbers for ten thousand dollars in cash it could happen to one of these lucky people. As a matter of fact, it did happen to one of these two people, and I'll talk to that guy. He's our current champion right after we say hello to our challenger. Her name is Nancy Church, and she's from Virginia Beach, Virginia. Hi. Hello, Nancy. Welcome back. <laughs> Nancy is a furniture sales uh, representative and a former backup singer for what group? The Platters. Oh, 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 yes. Of the Great Pretender. Pretender. Yes. And you were actually a backup singer. Well, actually, when they split, uh, Sonny Turner and Bernard Purdy went two separate directions, and I sang with a backup band for Bernard Purdy. And if she stays around long enough, we'll continue the autobiography <laughs> of The Platters. Yay. Welcome to our show, Nancy. Nice to have <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Now our current champion, who on the last show did indeed beat those big numbers for $10,000 in cash. His name is Robert Suarez. He's from Hialeah, Florida. <laughs> Hello, Robert. Welcome back. And what do you do in Florida? I'm with the fire department for Dade County. For Dade County. And you have a family who's watching you down in Florida. Yes, sir. Say hello to them so we can get started. Hi, Judy. Hi, Kirsten. And representing that family, he has $17,690 in cash and prizes. <laughs> Players, this match started on our last show. Nancy, you won the first game. Robert, you need to win this game to even things out at a game apiece. Now let's take a look at the board and the prizes we were and are playing for. In column one, the washer and the dryer with the books worth $1,200. In the middle column, that gorgeous grandfather clock worth $1,500. And in column three, the Mexican cruise with a camera to record all the pictures during that cruise worth $4,360. That's the way the numbers lined up. They're the numbers that we have left. So let us carry on. You know that being first for the right answer gives you control of the dice. Everybody ready? Gudinov, Gorbachev, or Shevardnadze? Which one is the Soviet foreign minister? How about it, Bob? Gorbachev. No, Shevardnadze is the Soviet foreign minister to our country. All right, Nancy, you get to roll the dice. Only bad roll from the last show, the four. Don't roll a four. You want to roll again to him? No, I want him to roll another oh, four. She had the feeling four. she might roll a four. She's getting rid of it. Remember, Robert, the one number you want to stay away from is the four. He's been paying attention. All right, here we go. All right, five. Oh, you're has he rolled? He's rolled a seven. I'll take the seven. All right, you can do it in column two. We do away with that seven, leaving only eight in the middle column. Is the weather nice or lousy if it's inclement? Lousy. Oh, yeah, what? that's right. That's okay. <laughs> that's right. I don't have to always say, Nancy, you buzzed in first. Ah! Inclement weather, lousy. Nancy, you want to roll them or give them away? The bad rolls are, are the four, the seven, and the ten. Oh, gosh. No way. <laughs> with three bad rolls, now. she says, I don't want to go with those. Uh -uh. All right, okay, Robert, stay away from five. four, seven, and ten. The five, the five, five, Mexico, and come on! And he has rolled an eight. eight. The five and the three. Three ways to do it. He knocks off the three and the five, clearing column three. That gives you the camera and the Mexican cruise worth $4,360. Yours to keep, Bob, if you win the game. Was it Ann Rutledge, Ann Hathaway, or Ann Boleyn with whom Abe Lincoln was once in love? Nancy? Ann Rutledge. You got it. First one I mentioned, Ann Rutledge. The good rolls are six, eight, and nine. I don't even have to ask her. Robert, the good rolls are six, eight, and nine. Roll one of those three. Okay. In order hey, to stay hey, alive in this match. He's rolled a ten. Bad roll. Match goes to Nancy. Got a new champion. Oh, boy. All right, Nancy, you're our champion. <laughs> Congratulations.
congratulations to you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. She says three days away from Christmas. Hey, what could be better? I'll tell you what could be better. You got $100 for winning that game, but you're going to have the chance now to go for $10,000. And I'm going to get to play Santa Claus on this 22nd day of December in just a moment. Robert, I want to tell you what a pleasure it has been to meet you, to welcome you as our contestant search winner from down in Miami, Florida. You won a boat, the fish ties, the trip to Maui, the camera, uh, 13400 in cash. You know, you've won $17,690. Oh, right. And it's been Thank delightful. You. Thank, Thank you so you much. Santa Claus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Old St. Nick, not doing bad. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas, brother. Nancy, the spotlight is on you now as we face the big numbers with you for a chance to win $10,000. Here comes Crystal with the golden dice. Take them, look at them, feel of them, talk to them. We'll be back to see if you can win $10,000. Nice present under the tree when we come back after this commercial break. champion with only $200, but with a chance to pick up a lot more. What a nice Christmas present it would be if you could put out all nine of those numbers, right, Nancy? Yes, sir. That's what you have in mind, isn't it? Yes, sir. With these two golden dice, all you have to do is put out the big numbers. You get $100 a number. You get $10,000 if you eradicate, do away with all nine of them. Yes, Can she do it? All right. Merry Christmas in advance. Let's do it, shall we? Here we go. The first roll is a double. Let me tell you about the double. This is an insurance marker. When you throw a double, this can get you out of trouble. If you need this later for an extra roll, you'll have it. All right, let's nine and one. Come off the board. That gets rid of two of them. You got two hundred dollars. Christmas time cash. Another double and another insurance marker. How do you want to take off that ten? Eight and two. We say goodbye to them and we keep on rolling with two insurance markers and $400. She has rolled a four and a three, seven. All right, Nancy, you've got two markers. Let's see what happens as you continue. $500 and a three. Off goes the three, leaving only the four, the five, and the six. The good rolls, four, five, six, nine, 10, and 11. What does she roll? The six and a four, 10. Six and four, we say goodbye to them. You have $800, you need a five for $10,000. A seven, no good. You need a five for $10,000. I have to take one of your insurance markers, five. How about a three and a two? Five, five, five. Oh, it's a double, though. It's a double, six. Take one away from that, you'll have a five, and that'll give you 10,000. You'll nearly get one of these, so you still have one. I'll keep that one, roll again. Five, five. Five for ten thousand dollars. Can she do it? Oh, it's another six. Oh, two sixes in a row. One the hard way. Five, three, and two would do it. For ten thousand dollars, can she do it? She did it. She did it. Congratulations. I knew it. I knew I was going to win. How did you know you were going to do it? I'm too positive not to. She said she knew she was going to win. She knew she was going to do it because she's too positive not to. Do you I agree win. with that? I'm I a agree winner. with that. I'm Nancy, $10,000 added to your $200. Merry Christmas. You have $10,200. <laughs> and you're still the champion. Don't go away. Would somebody get a doctor in the house, please? <laughs> Let's meet a brand new challenger, shall we? Who do we have? Say hello to Rob Simmons, originally from Washington, D.C. Come on out here, Rob. Welcome to our show. Say hello to Nancy. Nancy, don't hit him. <laughs> there we go. We'll get rid of the golden dice now. 
There you go. Crystal, thank you very much. Rob, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Well, I'm an unemployed attorney after graduating from the University of Virginia School of Law. She's from Virginia, do you too. Need a lawyer? <laughs> yeah. You should feel right at home here. Huh? I am. She showed you how to do it. Shall we just carry on? Absolutely. All right. Let's see what uh, <laughs> this unemployed attorney. I didn't know an unemployed attorney. I didn't know there were any. Let's take a look at column one as we get this new match underway. What do we have, Dean? You never have to worry about watching television any day of the week or in any room or place. You'll have seven TVs from a portable one inch to a giant 50 inch television. An RCA color track big screen monitor receiver with high fidelity stereo. Time and channel displayed on screen and unified remote control system. Furnished by RCA. Great viewing will be yours from High Rollers. This column is valued at $5,637. Now let's go to the middle column. It's very important. Listen. It's the Around the World Game, where with one roll of the die, you could go on a trip around the world with $5,000 in spending money for a vacation valued at $19,860. Now let's move on to the third and final column. Listen. Santa filled this first stocking with $1,000, and if it isn't one in this game, we'll keep bringing it back every game until Christmas. And Santa has agreed to add $1,000 to the stocking until one. It gives the game a total value of $26,497. All righty, let's take a look at the numbers. We have two hot columns in this game. Column two, a roll of a 10, will give you the chance to play the Around the World game for almost $20,000. Column three, a roll of an 11, will give you a chance at the Christmas stocking worth $1,000 in cash. We'll be back to start the match right after this. Now back to High Rollers and Wink. Okay, we got a brand new match. Nancy and Rob are going at it head to head. And we got some great prizes up here, do we not? We do. Here's the first question for Control of the Dice. If a woman wears a diaphanous nightgown, will you be able to see absolutely nothing, a little something, or everything? Nancy? Absolutely nothing. You would see everything. Oh, see, what do Diaphanous I know? means transparent. Absolutely. Well, it depends <laughs> Don't on who's you wearing stay, it. Yeah. <laughs> stay away from those nightgowns. All right, Rob, All here right. we go. I'm Your first roll of the dice. World. So let's An unemployed let's attorney. We got a seven. Seven. I'll take the five and the two away. Five and the two come off, leaving only the three in column two for that around the world game. What a great game that is. Players, where do most people who shoplift hide the stuff? In a purse or under their clothes? Nancy? Under their clothes? That's right. Under their clothes. That is correct. All right, Nancy, pick them up. All the rolls are good. No bad rolls. Let's see what happens. I would love a three because I want to go around the world. All right, roll a three and you'll get it. Number six, how you take it off. I'll take the six. Yeah, I, that's right. It's only I one way to do like that. Yeah, six in column three. 20%, 50%, or 80%. What percentage of married men say that they would marry the same woman if they had it to do all over again? Nancy. 80%. Yes, that is correct. 80% of the men said they'd marry the same woman if they had it to do all over. Only bad roll is a six. What do you want to do? All right, Rob, she thinks she might roll a six. She feels like you're going to roll a six. Let's Are you? avoid the six. Let's go for a three. I get a three and get a chance to play around the world. It's a five. I take the one and the four. One right? and the four clears column three. That's for that Christmas stocking worth $1,000 in Christmas cash. Not bad under the Christmas tree today, huh? He was born on the island of Corsica, exiled to an island, Elba, and died on the... Robert? Napoleon. Yes, Napoleon Bonaparte. You got it. Pick up the dice. Bad rolls. Four, five, six. You want to roll them again? Nancy, her. Merry Christmas. Nancy, isn't that nice? Merry Christmas wish Merry to you. Stay away from four, five, or six. Comes up with a five. Bad roll. Game goes to Rob. So congratulations to you, you, Rob. You win the first game of the match. And in, a, in addition to that, you pick up $1,000 for the Christmas stocking, so you have $1,000 already. By the way, we didn't get to play the Around the World game, but like with all of our extra games, we'll be bringing it back on a future show to play again. Is that okay? All right, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back right after this. If you'd like to be a contestant on High Rollers and you're going to be in the Los Angeles area, please call 213-852-4121 between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. Pacific time. And now back to High Rollers and Wink. 
All right, will we have a new champion in Rob, or will we have a continuing champion? Nancy needs to win this game, and on to game two. Brand new prizes in column one. Dean Goss, what do we have? For a very special Christmas celebration, cover your bed with Christmas cheer. This handmade cotton quilt, circa 1800, it's something that's been treasured for many Christmases and will be for many more Christmases to come. Furnished by Margaret Cavega Quilt Collection. And you can proudly store your quilt and memories in this solid pine hand-carved trunk. Furnished by Charles and Charles. Then Continental will fly you aboard a giant jet where you may enjoy the comfort and in-flight services of Continental Airlines. Then let's jet away to Colonial Williamsburg for a historical Christmas adventure. Domenico Tours Special Holiday Tours will visit early American historic sites, including a trip through Old Williamsburg to enjoy colonial architecture and costume citizens. Happy Holidays, furnished by Domenico Tours. This column is valued at $3,978. Now let's move on to the center column. Something to treasure for many Christmases. This $6,000 Charles and Charles antique turn of the century music box can be yours. This large tabletop model is made from cherry wood and plays Silent Night and is furnished by Charles and Charles. Now enjoy Christmas in the London of Charles Dickens. You'll fly there on Northwest Airlines, enjoying the hospitality, in-flight service and comfort of their 747 jumbo jet. In London, you may shop and walk the historic lanes and streets that sheltered Dickens characters while your comfort and desires are a top priority for a week at the elegant Mountbatten Hotel. This column is valued at $9,350. Finally, in column three, how about some cash? Now it's a brand new Christmas stocking, and we start the festivities all over again with another $1,000, which gives the entire game a value of $14,328. Let's take a look at the way the numbers line up for this game. Hot column for your game, Nancy and Rob, is column two. A roll of an 11 will give you the antique music box and the trip to London worth $9,350. Concentrate if you want to go to London. Listen carefully. Of Jacob, Joseph, or Jonah, who owned a coat of many colors? Nancy. Joseph. Yes, Joseph and the coat of many colors. Here are the dice rolling. Thank you. Thank you. Nancy, Thank you need to win this game. I would love an 11. Did she get an 11? No, she got a five. Three and two, please. Three and two, come off. Leaving only the six in that middle column for the trip to London. One inch, six inches, or four feet. How big is a kangaroo at birth? Rob. Six inches. One inch is the correct answer, oh. believe it or not. A kangaroo at birth, one inch, hard to believe, but true. Nancy, pick them up. One bad roll, a three. You want to do it or give them to Rob? I'm going to pass them. Rob, stay away from a three. I'm going for that six, Wink. I want to go to London. Get the six, six and go to London. Come on, let's see a six. Eight. Eight. All right, I'll go for the the eight. <laughs> Not a bad pick. Eight. Yeah, an eight comes off. All righty. Who wrote the famous opera about two lovers called Tristan and Isolde? Is it Verdi or Wagner? Wagner. Nancy? Yes, Wagner is the correct answer. You roll the dice or give them away. I Only a three is a bad roll. Bad roll is a three. Rob, what I want like? that six. I'm going six, to go to six. London. I want to go to London. London. The roll is a five. five. And it's a I'll good take roll. the one and the four. One and the four instead of the five in column one, leaving only the nine in column three for that $1,000 in cash. In the movie Bonnie and Clyde, Warren Beatty played Clyde. Who played Bonnie? Rob. Fade Dunaway. You got it. The man knows his movies. There you go, Rob. Bad three. rolls, three, four, nine, and ten. Four bad rolls. What do you want to do? Happy holidays Nancy, to you. Uh, he's talking to you, Nancy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Nancy, the bad roll, three, four, nine, and ten. Stay away from those. It's I beg your pardon, six. eight and ten are the bad rolls, not a nine. And it's a it's five. A five. That's I'll a good it. roll. Off comes the five in column one. So you got a seven in column one, a six in column two for the trip to London, and the nine in column three for the Christmas stocking worth a thou. One hundred or none. How many golf courses are there in Poland? How about it, Nancy? None. You're right. There are no golf courses in Poland. Three good rolls, Rob. Six, seven, and nine. Let's go for the six. He'd I love want to the see six. a six. Go to Come on, let's see a Is six. Is it a good roll? It's a double. double. It's a 12. Oh. That means that you get to roll again. Ordinarily, I would give you one of these, but you need it right now, if not sooner. Rob, good roll. Six, seven, and nine. Let's see a six. I want to see a six. He'd Come love on. a six. Has he come up with it? No, seven. it's a seven. Okay, it's a good seven. roll. Oh. And that clears column one, giving wow. you the pine trunk of the trip to glorious New England. Beautiful at this time of the year. 
worth $3,978. Yours to keep, Rob, a trip to take if you win the game. In Greek mythology, what did Medusa have on her head instead of hair? Spun gold, seaweed, or... Nancy? Spun gold. No, snakes is the correct answer. Rob, there are the dice. Two good rolls, six and nine. Let's go, come on. Nancy, roll it. Good roll, six or nine. Can she roll a six or a nine? It's a big roll, and we have a new champion. Rob, you win the prime front to trip to New England. You now, as our new champion, have $4,978. Nancy, you leave us with all cash. You leave us with $10,200. And Merry Christmas Thank from everybody you. at High Rollers. I would Delighted like to, to meet you. one thing. Make Thank it quick. You. I would just want to say, Michael and Fern, the whole cast are wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Nancy, Thank Merry you. Christmas to you. Hey, we're out of time. That means we're not going to get to start and play the big numbers, but we'll do that first thing on the next show. Can you wait? Absolutely. You'll have to. Uh -uh. But on the next show, first thing, you'll be going for $10,000 in cash. There's something to sleep on and worry a little about. Get a little uptight. Uh -huh. We'll see you next time with more of High Rollers with Mark Dale. Goodbye, everybody. Some of our parting contestants will receive Redken Classics hair care products formulated to create beautiful, healthy hair. So a pick of their formulas transcend time, available exclusively at salons. And Soft Scent Skin Lotion with Vitamin E, where the feel of healthy skin begins. Also, shop for Plus Mart Christmas gift wrap, Christmas cards, bows, ribbons, and trim at your favorite retail store. Plus Mart, one of America's favorite Christmas companies. Add new Extra Strength AIM, the only extra fluoride toothpaste accepted by the American Dental Association. The most fluoride, that's the strength of Extra Strength AIM. All trips originate from Los Angeles. Heater Production in association with Century Towers Productions.